Sorry, it's been a while, but I went camping, and I've just been all over the place, bro. And you know what? Wednesday is my birthday, and I hope to get a new camera. So this is the last time filming on whatever this is. Yeah. Okay, so the challenge is to say everything you did in a wrap, which I'll be doing right about now. I woke up this morning around 8 or 9, looked at the clock and said, hey, I'm more time to sleep. So what I did is I slept until 10 and then I said, hey, again, I'll just sleep. So then I slept again until 11 and then by that time I already got a phone call and this phone call was some, some person who I didn't know so I picked it up and then they asked my dad and I said, what? Yo, my dad don't live here anymore. He lives around the town and I, I they're, my parents are divorced. So then they were like, hey, so do you know where um, I can get his phone number? And I was like, um, he probably is at work right now so if you want to call him, you should probably call him at work. So then after I hung up, I realized, hey, isn't that the place he's trying to avoid? So then I realized, oops, I just told him where he's at his work right now, and he probably doesn't want to know that. So now I need to call him and ask him if everything's running okay, and I'm sorry if I give him their phone number, because he didn't want their phone number. Sorry, Dad. Sorry. So then I got dressed in, then I went to my grandparents' house, but before that, I realized that my grandpa was supposed to pick me up around noon. And then he picked me up around 11.30, and I was like, hey, you know what, um, you're a little early. And he said, didn't you check your phone? I, like, called you 50 times, and you never picked up, and I told you I was going to pick you up around 11.30. And then I said, oh, sorry, I didn't know that. Well, can I go over to your house to brush my hair? Because by that time, I didn't brush my hair. So then I went over to his house, and I had something to eat. I had just a salad because I wasn't very hungry. And then I brushed my hair and then I straightened it. So then I went on my way to summer school. There's only five of us in that class. Me, Lucy, Justin, Dylan, and Roberto. Then Justin was wearing these really weird things. His pants were like down to his knees. And then he was wearing some um, flip flops, which by the way, don't look good together. So then my teacher, being all creepy, kept on being racist to Roberto. Started calling him names. It was pretty funny because you know how racist that is. And Roberto just come smiling and I kept on smiling back. And then we had to read some of our book and everyone else finished the book except for me. So the teacher said, hey, did you finish your book? And everyone's like, uh-huh. Then he went to me and I was like, um, I didn't finish no book. So then we had an hour to read our book and then I got done with 20 pages. And after that, we had a couple of breaks and me and Lucy just kept on walking all over the place. And then we went to the bathroom, although it was locked. So then we went to the main office and then we used their bathroom. Then we had to write about our essay and then we had to just keep on talking about the book and what happened in the book. And then we started writing our little rewrite for the essay. That made no sense. Then after we talked about all our written stuff on our essay, then we watched a movie. No one really wanted to watch that movie, but I don't care because I love that movie. And that movie is called Romeo and Juliet, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. And I just said we remember, but whatever, you know, it's cool. So we watched some of that movie and I felt smart because I already saw that movie and I knew everything that was happening. So when the teacher asked, I already knew the answer. So then my grandma picked me up and then she said, hey, are you having dinner with me tonight? Because I told her earlier I was going to have dinner with her. And then I said, didn't really want to, I just wanted to go home and make this video and edit it. So then I made up an excuse and I said, um, I have to read my book. So then she was like, okay, well then I guess I'll just take you home. But then there was Peter in the car and he said, oh no, she can just take the book and read it here. So you know what I am? I'm here reading my book. Although the only problem is I left my book in my mom's car so I don't have the book and why am I going to a country accent? I don't know. And that's what I've done today. Holler at your mother.